We are here in Venice Beach, California for season five of American Ninja Warrior. We are starting off here a cross country search to find the best athletes to take on Mount Midoriyama and we're hoping we find the first ever American Ninja Warrior. This year the biggest thing is change. Unlike previous years we would only swap out about one obstacle from city to city. This course right here already has four new obstacles nobody has ever seen. On the extended course, we've added an obstacle. The difficulty level is through the roof. So the people who get through this are truly gonna be the best of the best. One of the great things is the people who come out for this. We're gonna see some of our favorites, guys like Brent Stephenson, Derek Nakamoto, and Grandpa Ninja, they're all back. But we've got some new guys coming out. We actually have Olympic gold medalists we're gonna be competing on this course. We have multiple NFL players. So these are the best athletes in the world tackling what I believe is the most difficult athletic challenge on the planet. When you look at some of these world-class athletes coming out, you of course think they're gonna be more prepared for this than anybody. But the reality is so much of this is technique and preparation. And that's where the ninjas who build the obstacles in their backyard have an advantage. But as we saw last year with guys like Bull Bullard and Cam Wembley, sometimes you can be such a good athlete, you can get through the course, but ultimately it will catch up with you. The great thing is I get to work with some amazing people. The guy standing next to me in the booth, making me look petite, I might add, is Akbar Baja Biamila, an NFL defensive end, a phenomenal athlete, and even from him, he talked about the warp wall, how easy it looked on TV, and then he stood there, a 6'7 man, 270 pounds, going, this thing's huge. So I think they really bring a perspective um, of someone who's been watching the show, someone who's a world-class athlete, and now can apply that for the people at home. And it's great having Jen Brown here, a sideline reporter who's done some of the biggest competitions in the world. She's gonna be interviewing these guys, getting their, their, their expressions, their emotions, what they feel like when they get their asses handed to them on this course, or, God willing, they succeed. If Akbar and I had a head-to-head -head competition on this course, you've got two world-class athletes really tackling a world-class course. Look, I tell the big man he would have a shot, but the reality is I'm the ninja expert. Granted, I may not be in great shape and 10 years older than him, but you gotta put your money on this guy. Maybe not, my parents would, no one else.